In today's video, Maddie and I are reviewing the Vinci Bot. So we have the challenge booklet, the challenge mat, instruction manual, charging cord, remote control. We have a marker. Here is the robot. It is a coding robot that will react to commands based on block and text coding. This product was sent to us by the brand and it is a paid sponsored video. You can control this robot using just the arrows and whatnot. There you go. Well, that's so fun. It's a nice classic one. Now see if you can move it while it's playing a sound. Oh, you can. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you see what it does when you push the light button. It's lighting up really bright, different colors right there. And then will you hit that other button that looks like somebody dancing there and see what it does? Oh, it's dancing for us now. This is a pre-programmed dancing thing. That was cool. Nice. Once you hit the M, you'll see that little line. That is line following mode. And then you hit the play button and watch this. It follows the line, literally goes around like a car and tries to follow the line on there. That is a pre-programmed mode that you can use for this Vinci bot. And that is so cool. It actually recognizes the line, the contrast. We're in preset one and Maddie is hit the play button and it is drawing what looks like to be a perfect square. Wow, let's see how that looks. That is a perfect square. We're in preset two mode, let's see what it draws now. <laughs> it, got, it went off the it paper. It went off the paper. <laughs> it draw? oh, it's, it's drawing star. a star. Maddie's gonna put this in number three now and hit play. And then it's gonna draw, let's find out what it draws here. One of my favorite things, I think. An ice cream cone? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like an airplane or a jet. An airplane? Or a jet or something. Oh, it does look like a jet. That's super cool. <laughs> you thought it was an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I do like ice cream. I like planes too, though. Okay, take it up. Whoa. Okay, that was pretty cool. So we saw a bunch of the preset things. So now we're gonna show you a little bit of the programmable things. We're not gonna program it right now. There are things that you can add to this robot. You see right here, these things right here, you can buy like an inventor's kit to add stuff to this. We don't have the inventor's kit. We only have the robot for now and the mat right here, along with the challenge book. This is for the challenges right here the Matata Studios challenges. And you use this challenge book right here in order to program the robot to do the thing. So it will give you a way to do these things. So it'll tell you to start in a certain place. It'll give you the blocks and how to program this. I'm gonna show this to you because you use a computer to actually program this to have the robot do some things like move to one block to another. So we could have it do something like go to this block to this block to this block, to this block, but you have to program all of that. So that's what this challenge book is for. And it comes with several different challenges in it. On the computer right here, this is how you actually go through the programming. So you'll be able to like do something like grab like when robot starts right here, drag it over. Then you can drag, move this forward here, let that go. You could even say when the robot starts, I want to move it backwards and you can tell it how far in centimeters or you can also tell it in inches or seconds. So you have events, motion, motor, effects, lighting, sound, music, sensors, controls, operators, and um, all these different things that you can do. You see those are the blocks and then you use the text and you basically connect them as a puzzle here. Grab this, lock it up with that. You can set it to run left, right, left plus right. You can go clockwise. You can tell it how many rotations. So like, for example, I could change this to maybe five rotations, so it would spin five times. And that uplinks with your robot right there. And you do that 
um, either through Bluetooth or I believe you can do that by connecting directly with USB. If you wanted to do some kind of effect like dance, have an emotion, you could do, let's say we wanted to have some kind of emotion when the robot starts, you can change it to surprise and it'll give you like a surprised face on the robot itself. And then you can do different lighting configurations. You can make it show game backgrounds, um, different backgrounds. There are a lot of things you can do. You can even set the LED lights to different arrays right there, as you see. You can set it to different colors. So maybe you want when the robot starts to set this color to, maybe you want it to go to pink. And then you can set that color to pink like that. So there's there are the blocks right there. And there are your text programming things right there as well. So this is pretty cool. Great gift for your kids if you're looking for something to make them smarter. You're going to be smarter now, Maddie. Yep. <laughs>